हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम बैक टू अवर आई टी सेक्शन स्टैंडर्ड सेकेंड सेकेंड चैप्टर इनपुट एंड प्रोसेसिंग डिवाइस सो स्टूडेंट्स वॉट वी हैड लर्न इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर येस कंप्यूटर अवर्सटाइल मशीन मीन्स इट इज यूज फॉर different purposes a computer can do any job but proper instructions and we had seen computer is a more greater than man very good so students we are going to learn our second chapter input and processing device So students what is the input input means the input devices help you to talk to the computer to do a specific job input is the instruction given by you to the computer in the human body information enter the brain to eyes ears nose tongue and skin in a computer information enters through the input devices it can be numbers letters symbols pictures or sounds the input is given to the computer through input devices input devices are the parts of a computer that are used to feed instructions to the computer by us the following are the input devices that feed the data into the computer first is the keyboard Do you know what is it? Yes, it is a keyboard. Keyboard looks like a typewriter. On keyboard there are many keys like alphabet keys, movement or arrow keys and number keys. The keyboard is an input device. it has many buttons on it these buttons are called keys it is divided into three sections as shown above first is the numbers second letters third symbols by pressing the keys on the keyboard the different types of keys on the keyboard first alphabet keys second number keys third arrow keys or cursor control keys fourth function keys fifth special keys the alphabet keys are from a to z as in alphabet the numeric keys are from 0 to 9 in number the function keys are 12 in total from f1 to f12 the cursor control keys are displayed as follow up down left right the special keys are first is the enter key enter key is used for to go to the next line there are two enter keys on the keyboard second space bar key it is the longest key on the keyboard it is used for 
give a space when you trace space bar key third backspace key it is used for erase any letter word numbers or anything fourth delete key it is used for delete any paragraph icons files and folders fifth tab key it is used for insert tab between letters words sixth caps lock key it is used to type in capital letters when caps lock key is on letters appear on capital next mouse a mouse is an input device and its name is derived from its shape which looks like a mouse it controls the pointer on the monitor so it is also called a pointing device it is also used for drawing the mouse can be moved on a smooth surface you control the movement of pointer on the monitor there are different types of pointers next different types of mouse first mouse with two buttons second mouse with scroll bar third mouse with single click fourth cordless mouse fifth optical mouse and sixth mouse with three buttons so students we will learn how a mouse is operated the mouse has four functions they are first single click second double click third right click fourth drag and drop first single click means left click when you press and release the left mouse button once left click is used to select icons files or folders on the desktop second double click it means when you press and release the left mouse button twice in rapid succession it means action or movement double click is used open the program file or folder on the computer third right click it means when you press and release the left mouse button once right click on the desktop or any other area switches to the shortcut menu and fourth drag and drop it means when you press the left mouse button holding it down and move the mouse to drag the selected object and release the mouse button the operation of pressing and releasing of the mouse button will work for the program is called paint which will help you to draw and paint So students now we will see the more input devices first is a scanner scanner is an input device that scans the document which includes images pictures and text this is display on the computer screen second microphone a microphone is an input device which can be attached to a computer 
you can record your voice or other sounds into the computer third light pen light pen is a pointing input device which is used to select a display menu or draw pictures on the monitor screen it is optical system place in a small tube light fourth is a joystick a joystick is an input device which is used game controller for computer games usually have one or more push buttons the joystick has been the flight control in the many aircraft particularly military fast jets fifth is a track ball a track ball is an input device it consists a ball by a socket sensors to detect a rotation of the ball about two axes it is like an upside down mouse the user rolls the ball with the thumb fingers or the palm of the hand to move a cursor 60 is a touch screen the input device has touch sensitive displays screens one can use a stylus a touch screen is a computer screen that can be used by touching it with a finger or a stylus pen which helps like a pen to write on the surface of a small touch screen tablet computers and smartphones have made them popular now we will see the processing device the work done on the instructions input data given to the computer is called processing i e o i that is input p that is processing o that is output whatever instructions you are giving to the computer it going to process it and after that you are getting the output for example to add two numbers first input to calculate the sum of numbers 5 and 6 the input data is fed in the computer next now processing 5 plus 6 now the addition of the two numbers will be performed by the processing device central processing unit the cpu is the processing device and is known as the brain of the computer it is most important part of the computer system the cpu processes all the instructions given to the computer through input devices it has three part first is the alu arithmetic and logic unit second cu this is a control unit and third mu this is memory unit the all the parts of a computer are attached to the cpu and controlled by a control unit next the interior of cpu first hard disk the hard disk is fixed inside the cpu it is known as memory of the computer second memory card a memory card is a type of storage device that is used for storing media and data files
third motherboard a motherboard as a single platform to connect all of the parts of a computer together fourth cd drive it is a compact disk it is a flat and a round cd rom drive it allow us to record information on a computer it is removable media storage it is known as cd rom dvd etc fifth is a power switch a power switch controls the flow of power to an electric device the switch has an on and off position every computer uses a power button for turning on and off a computer so students i hope everyone have understood the second chapter input and processing device thank you stay home stay safe